This extensive list covers a wide range of 200 cognitive biases that can influence our thoughts, decisions, and behaviors. It is important to note that the study of cognitive biases is ongoing, and new biases may continue to be identified and explored by researchers. 1. Anchoring bias relying too heavily on the first piece of information encountered when making decisions. 2. Confirmation. Bias. Seeking, interpreting, and remembering information that confirms pre-existing beliefs. 3. Availability heuristic. Making judgments based on readily available information or examples that come to mind. 4. Hindsight bias. Seeing events as predictable or obvious after they have occurred. 5. Overconfidence. Bias. Overestimating one's abilities, knowledge, or chances of success. 6. Self-serving bias. Attributing successes to internal factors and failures to external factors. 7. Sunk cost fallacy. Continuing an endeavor because of past investments, despite the lack of future benefits. 8. Fundamental attribution. Error. Attributing others' behaviors to their character while attributing our own behaviors to external factors. 9. In-group bias. Favoring members of one's own group over those outside the group. 10. Status quo. Bias. Preferring the current state of affairs and resisting change. 11. Negativity. Bias. Giving more weight to negative experiences or information than positive ones. 12. Dunning-Kruger effect. Overestimating one's abilities in a particular domain, often due to lack of knowledge or expertise. 13. Optimism. Bias. Overestimating the likelihood of positive outcomes and underestimating the likelihood of negative ones. 14. Actor-observer bias, attributing one's own actions to external factors while attributing others' actions to their character. 15. Survivorship bias, focusing on people or things that have survived some selection process and overlooking those that did not. 16. Halo effect, allowing a single positive trait or aspect of a person to influence overall judgments. 17. Stereotyping. Making generalized assumptions about a group of people based on their perceived characteristics. 18. Gambler's fallacy. Believing that future probabilities are influenced by past events despite events being independent. 19. Planning fallacy. Underestimating the time, costs, and risks of future actions, and overestimating the benefits. 20. Observer expectancy effect, allowing expectations or beliefs to influence observations and interpretations of data. 21. Framing effect, making decisions based on how information is presented rather than on the actual information itself. 22. Recency bias, giving more weight to recent events or information when making judgments or decisions. 23. Social desirability bias, presenting oneself in a favorable light or conforming to social norms when responding to surveys or interviews. 24. Loss aversion, preferring to avoid losses rather than acquiring equivalent gains. 25. Illusory correlation, perceiving a relationship between two variables when no such relationship exists or is weak. 26. False consensus effect, overestimating the extent to which others share our beliefs, attitudes, or behaviors. 27. Anchoring and adjustment, using an initial piece of information, the anchor, as a reference point and adjusting subsequent judgments accordingly. 28. Primacy effect. Remembering information presented at the beginning of a list or sequence 
more easily than information presented later. 29. Recency effect. Remembering information presented at the end of a list or sequence more easily than information presented earlier. 30. Curse of knowledge. Difficulty in imagining what it's like for someone else not to know something that you know. 31. Semantic priming. The tendency for recently used words or concepts to influence the interpretation of subsequent words or concepts. 32. Time-saving bias. Underestimating the time it takes to complete a task or achieve a goal. 33. Curiosity gap. Bias. Being more attracted to information or content when there is a gap between what we know and what we want to know. 34. Decoy effect, the phenomenon where consumers will tend to have a specific change in preference between two options when also presented with a third option that is asymmetrically dominated. 35. Endowment effect, valuing an object more once ownership has been established. 36. False memory. A psychological phenomenon where a person recalls something that did not happen or remembers it differently from the way it actually happened. 37. Zero risk bias. Preference for reducing a small risk to zero over a greater reduction in a larger risk. 38. Parkinson's law of triviality. The tendency to give disproportionate weight to trivial issues. 39. Anecdotal evidence relying on personal experiences or anecdotes rather than systematic empirical evidence. 40. Authority bias, the tendency to attribute greater accuracy to the opinion of an authority figure or expert and be more influenced by that opinion. 41. Belief bias. Evaluating the strength of an argument based on the believability of its conclusion rather than its logical structure. 42. Barnum Effect. The tendency to accept vague or general statements as personally meaningful, often seen in horoscopes or personality tests. 43. Reactive devaluation. Devaluing proposals or offers simply because they originate from an adversary or opposing party. 44. IKEA Effect. Overvaluing products or outcomes that one has partially created or contributed to. 45. Mere exposure effect, developing a preference for things merely because they are familiar. 46. Projection bias, assuming that others share the same beliefs, thoughts, or feelings as oneself. 47. System justification. Bias, the tendency to defend and justify the status quo even when it may be disadvantageous or unjust. 48. Pessimism bias, overestimating the likelihood of negative outcomes and underestimating positive ones. 49. Empathy gap, the inability to understand or predict one's own or other's emotions and behavior in different emotional states. 50. Placebo effect, experiencing a perceived improvement in condition due to the belief in the effectiveness of a treatment that is actually inert. 51. Backfire effect, when people react to disconfirming evidence by strengthening their beliefs. 52. Bystander effect, the tendency for individuals to be less likely to offer help to a victim when other people are present. 53. Cheerleader effect, the cognitive bias which causes people to perceive individuals as more attractive when they are in a group. 54. Clustering illusion, the tendency to see patterns in random events. 55. Conjunction fallacy, the assumption that specific conditions are more probable than a single general one. 56. Courtesy bias, the tendency to give an opinion that is more socially correct than one's true opinion to avoid offending anyone. 57. Disconfirmation. Bias. The tendency to extend critical scrutiny to information that contradicts one's beliefs 
and to uncritically accept information that is congruent with one's beliefs. 58. End of history illusion. The belief that one has experienced significant personal growth and changes up to the present moment but will not substantially grow or mature in the future. 59. Fading. Effect bias. The tendency for the emotional intensity of negative events to fade more quickly than that of positive events. 60. False consensus. Effect. The tendency to overestimate the degree to which others agree with us. 61. Fora effect. The observation that individuals will give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that supposedly are tailored specifically for them, but that are in fact vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. 62. Hot hand fallacy. The belief that a person who has experienced success with a random event has a greater chance of further success in additional attempts. 63. Identifiable victim effect. The tendency to offer greater aid to a specific, identifiable person rather than a large, vaguely defined group. 64. Just world hypothesis. The belief that people get what they deserve and deserve what they get. 65. Less is better effect. The tendency to prefer a smaller set of higher quality over a larger set of lower quality, even if the latter is more quantitatively valuable. 66. Naive realism, the belief that we see reality as it really is, objectively and without bias, that the facts are plain for all to see and that rational people will agree with us. 67. Naive cynicism, the tendency to expect that other people's actions are motivated by self-interest, even when there is evidence suggesting otherwise. 68. Not invented. Here syndrome, the aversion to adopt an idea or product created outside of one's organization or circle. 69. Outgroup homogeneity bias. The perception that members of an outgroup are more similar to each other than they really are, and more similar than members of the in-group. 70. Peltzman effect. The tendency to take greater risks when perceived safety increases, often due to regulations or safety measures. 71. Pro-innovation bias. The belief that an innovation should be adopted by society without the need for its careful evaluation. 72. Pseudo-certainty. Effect. The tendency to make risk-averse choices if the expected outcome is positive, but make risk-seeking choices to avoid negative outcomes. 73. Rhymer's reason effect. The tendency to perceive rhyming statements as more truthful or accurate than non-rhyming statements. 74. Selective perception. The tendency not to notice and more quickly forget stimuli that cause emotional discomfort and contradict our prior beliefs. 75. Semmelweis. Reflex, the tendency to reject new evidence or new knowledge because it contradicts established norms, beliefs, or paradigms. 76. Subadditivity. Effect, the tendency to judge the probability of the whole to be less than the probabilities of the parts. 77. Telescoping effect. The tendency to place more recent events further back in time and older events closer to the present than they actually are. 78. Third person effect. The belief that others are more influenced by media messages than they themselves are. 79. Time discounting. The tendency to value immediate rewards more highly than future rewards. 80. Well-traveled road effect, the tendency to underestimate the time taken to travel familiar routes and overestimate the time taken to travel unfamiliar routes. 81. Ambiguity effect, the tendency to avoid options for which the probability of a favorable outcome is unknown.
82. Attentional bias, the tendency for people's perception to be affected by their recurring thoughts at the time. 83. Bandwagon effect, the tendency to do or believe things because many other people do or believe the same. 84. Base rate fallacy, ignoring base rate general information and focusing on specific information. 85. Bizarreness effect, the tendency for bizarre material to be better remembered than common material. 86. Choice supportive bias, the tendency to retroactively ascribe positive attributes to an option one has selected. 87. Cluster illusion, the tendency to see patterns in random data. 88. Comparative optimism, the belief that oneself is less likely to experience negative events and more likely to experience positive events compared to others. 89. Congruence bias, the tendency to test hypotheses exclusively through direct testing rather than testing possible alternative hypotheses. 90. Context effect, the influence of the surrounding context on the perception of a stimulus. 91. Contrast effect, the enhancement or diminishment of a perception or cognition due to exposure to a stimulus of lesser or greater value. 92. Cross-race effect, the tendency for people to more easily recognize faces of the race that they are most familiar with. 93. Declinism, the belief that a society or institution is tending towards decline. 94. Duration. Neglect, the neglect of the duration of an episode in determining its value. 95. Empathy gap, the tendency to underestimate the influence or strength of feelings in either oneself or others. 96. Exaggerated expectation. Based on the estimates, real-world evidence turns out to be less extreme than expectations, related to the regression toward the mean. 97. Fading affect bias. A bias in which the emotion associated with unpleasant memories fades more quickly than the emotion associated with positive events. 98. Fora effect. Barnum effect. The observation that individuals will give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that are supposedly tailored specifically for them, but are in fact vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. 99. Frequency illusion. Bader Meinhof phenomenon. The illusion in which a word, a name, or other thing that has recently come to one's attention suddenly seems to appear with improbable frequency shortly afterwards. 100. Galatea effect. The phenomenon in which high self-expectations lead to high performance. 101. Generation effect. The phenomenon where information is better remembered if it is generated from one's own mind rather than simply read. 102. Google effect. Digital amnesia, the tendency to forget information that can be easily found online. 103. Group attribution error, the biased belief that the characteristics of an individual group member are reflective of the group as a whole, or that a group's decision outcome must reflect the preferences of individual group members, even when external information is available suggesting otherwise. 104. Hard easy effect. The tendency to overestimate the probability of one's success in difficult tasks and to underestimate it in easy tasks. 105. Hyperbolic discounting. The tendency for people to prefer smaller, sooner rewards to larger, later rewards. The preference reverses as the delay occurs sooner rather than later. 106. Identifiable victim effect. The tendency to offer greater aid when a specific identifiable person, victim, is observed under hardship as compared to a large, 
vaguely defined group with the same need. 107. Irrational Escalation The phenomenon where people justify increased investment in a decision based on the cumulative prior investment, despite new evidence suggesting that the cost of continuing the decision outweighs the expected benefit. 108. Just World Hypothesis The cognitive bias that a person's actions are inherently inclined to bring morally fair and fitting consequences to that person, to the end of all noble actions being eventually rewarded and all evil actions eventually punished. 109. Less is better effect. The tendency to prefer a smaller set of items to a larger set judged independently of one another. 110. Mere ownership effect. Endowment effect. The phenomenon whereby people ascribe more value to things merely because they own them. 111. Modesty bias. The tendency to attribute success to external factors and failures to internal factors. 112. Moral credential effect. The tendency of a track record of non-prejudice to increase subsequent prejudice. 113. Name letter effect. The tendency of people to prefer the letters in their name over other letters in the alphabet. 114. Neglect of probability. The tendency to completely disregard probability when making a decision under uncertainty. 115. Not invented here. Aversion to contact with or use of products, research, standards, or knowledge developed outside a group. 116. Omission bias. The tendency to judge harmful actions as worse or less moral than equally harmful omissions, inactions. 117. Outcome bias. The tendency to judge a decision by its eventual outcome instead of based on the quality of the decision at the time it was made. 118. Overconfidence effect. The phenomenon where an individual's subjective confidence in their judgments is reliably greater than the objective accuracy of those judgments, especially when confidence is relatively high. 119. Pessimism bias. The tendency for some people, especially those suffering from depression, to overestimate the likelihood of negative things happening to them. 120. Placebo effect. The phenomenon in which a placebo, a treatment with no therapeutic effect, can sometimes improve a patient's condition simply because the person has the expectation that it will be helpful. 121. Post-purchase rationalization. The tendency to persuade oneself through rational argument that a purchase was a good value. 122. Pro-innovation bias. The tendency to have an excessive optimism towards an invention or innovation's usefulness throughout society while often failing to identify its limitations and weaknesses. 123. Pseudo-certainty, effect, the tendency to make risk-averse choices if the expected outcome is positive, but make risk-seeking choices to avoid negative outcomes. 124. Reactance, the urge to do the opposite of what someone wants you to do out of a need to resist a perceived attempt to constrain your freedom of choice. 125. Restraint bias. The tendency to overestimate one's ability to show restraint in the face of temptation. 126. Rhymer's reason effect. Rhyming statements are perceived as more truthful. 127. Risk compensation. The tendency to take greater risks when perceived safety increases. 128. Selective perception. 
the tendency not to notice and more quickly forget stimuli that cause emotional discomfort and contradict prior beliefs. 129. Social Comparison Bias The tendency to make decisions or evaluations in a way that allows us to see ourselves in a favourable light. 130. Social loafing The tendency for individuals to expend less effort when working collectively than when working individually. 131. Spacing effect the tendency for information to be better recalled if exposure to it is spaced over time. 132. Subadditivity effect. The tendency to judge probability of the whole to be less than the probabilities of the parts. 133. Survivorship. Bias. Concentrating on the people or things that survived some process and inadvertently overlooking those that didn't because of their lack of visibility. 134. Third person effect. The tendency to believe that others are more influenced by mass media messages than they themselves are. 135. Triviality effect. Parkinson's law of triviality. The tendency to give disproportionate weight to trivial issues. 136. Unit bias. The tendency to want to finish a given unit of a task or an item. 137. Weber Fechner law. The perceived change in stimuli is proportional to the initial stimuli. 138. Well traveled road effect. Underestimation of the time taken to traverse familiar routes and overestimation of the time taken to traverse less familiar routes. 139. Zero-sum bias. The assumption that a situation is zero-sum, one's gains are another's losses, when it is not. 140. Zygarnic effect. The tendency to remember interrupted or incomplete tasks or events more easily than completed ones. 141. Actor-observer asymmetry. The tendency to attribute one's own actions to external causes while attributing other people's behaviors to internal causes. 142. Effective forecasting. The tendency to mispredict the intensity and duration of one's emotional reactions to future events. 143. Ambiguity aversion. The tendency to favor the known over the unknown, including known risks over unknown risks. 144. Anticipation. Bias. The tendency to overestimate the probability or magnitude of future events. 145. Apophenia. The tendency to perceive meaningful connections or patterns in random or meaningless data. 146. Authority bias. The tendency to attribute greater accuracy to the opinion of an authority figure and be more influenced by that opinion. 147. Automation bias. The propensity for humans to favor suggestions from automated decision-making systems and to ignore contradictory information made without automation, even if it is correct. 148. Availability cascade. A self-reinforcing process where a collective belief gains more and more plausibility through its increasing repetition in public discourse. 149. Ben Franklin Effect. A person who has done someone a favor is more likely to do that person another favor than they would be if they had received a favor from that person. 150. Bystander effect. The tendency for individuals to be less likely to offer help to a victim when other people are present. 151. Clustering illusion. The tendency to see patterns in random data, especially clusters of events. 152. Conservatism bias. 
the tendency to revise one's belief insufficiently when presented with new evidence. 153. Decoy effect. The phenomenon whereby consumers change their preference between two options when presented with a third option that is asymmetrically dominated. 154. Disposition effect. The tendency of investors to sell assets that have increased in value while keeping assets that have dropped in value. 155. Distinction bias. The tendency to view two options as more distinctive when evaluating them simultaneously than when evaluating them separately. 156. Egalitarian fallacy. The erroneous belief that all people are equal in their abilities and deserve the same opportunities regardless of their actions. 157. Effort. Justification. The tendency to attribute a greater value to an outcome one has put effort into achieving. 158. Empathy gap. The inability to understand or predict one's own or others' emotions and behavior in different emotional states. 159. Epicurean devaluation. The tendency to undervalue the pleasures and joys of life due to a lack of appreciation or overfamiliarity. 160. Expectation bias. The tendency for experimenters to believe, certify, and publish data that agree with their expectations for the outcome of an experiment and to disbelieve, discard, or downgrade the corresponding weightings for data that appear to conflict with those expectations. 161. Functional fixedness. The tendency to use objects only in their traditional way. 162. Gambler's conceit. The belief that one can stop an addictive behavior such as gambling whenever one chooses. 163. Group attribution error. The biased belief that the characteristics of an individual group member are reflective of the group as a whole or that a group's decision outcome must reflect the preferences of individual group members even when external information is available suggesting otherwise. 164. Hyperbolic discounting, the tendency for people to prefer smaller, sooner rewards over larger, later rewards. 165. Identifiable victim effect, the tendency to offer greater aid when a specific identifiable person, victim, is observed under hardship as compared to a large, vaguely defined group with the same need. 166. Irrational escalation. The phenomenon where people justify increased investment in a decision based on the cumulative prior investment, despite new evidence suggesting that the cost of continuing the decision outweighs the expected benefit. 167. Just World Hypothesis The cognitive bias that a person's actions are inherently inclined to bring morally fair and fitting consequences to that person, to the end of all noble actions being eventually rewarded and all evil actions eventually punished. 168. Mere ownership effect, endowment effect. The phenomenon whereby people ascribe more value to things merely because they own them. 169. Modesty. Bias. The tendency to attribute success to external factors and failures to internal factors. 170. Moral credential effect. The tendency of a track record of non-prejudice to increase subsequent prejudice. 171. Name, letter effect. The tendency of people to prefer the letters in their name over other letters in the alphabet. 172. Neglect of probability. The tendency to completely disregard probability when making a decision under uncertainty. 173. Not invented here. 
aversion to contact with or use of products, research, standards, or knowledge developed outside a group. 174. Omission bias, the tendency to judge harmful actions as worse or less moral than equally harmful omissions, inactions. 175. Outcome bias, the tendency to judge a decision by its eventual outcome instead of based on the quality of the decision at the time it was made. 176. Overconfidence effect. The phenomenon where an individual's subjective confidence in their judgments is reliably greater than the objective accuracy of those judgments, especially when confidence is relatively high. 177. Pessimism bias. The tendency for some people, especially those suffering from depression, to overestimate the likelihood of negative things happening to them. 178. Placebo effect. The phenomenon in which a placebo, a treatment with no therapeutic effect, can sometimes improve a patient's condition simply because the person has the expectation that it will be helpful. 179. Post-purchase rationalization. The tendency to persuade oneself through rational argument that a purchase was a good value. 180. Pro-innovation bias. The tendency to have an excessive optimism towards an invention or innovation's usefulness throughout society while often failing to identify its limitations and weaknesses. 181. Pseudo-certainty. Effect. The tendency to make risk-averse choices if the expected outcome is positive, but make risk-seeking choices to avoid negative outcomes. 182. Reactance. The urge to do the opposite of what someone wants you to do out of a need to resist a perceived attempt to constrain your freedom of choice. 183. Restraint bias, the tendency to overestimate one's ability to show restraint in the face of temptation. 184. Rhymer's reason effect, rhyming statements are perceived as more truthful. 185. Risk compensation. The tendency to take greater risks when perceived safety increases. 186. Selective perception. The tendency not to notice and more quickly forget stimuli that cause emotional discomfort and contradict prior beliefs. 187. Social comparison bias. The tendency to make decisions or evaluations in a way that allows us to see ourselves in a favorable light. 188. Social loafing. The tendency for individuals to expend less effort when working collectively than when working individually. 189. Spacing effect, the tendency for information to be better recalled if exposure to it is spaced over time. 190. Subadditivity effect, the tendency to judge probability of the whole to be less than the probabilities of the parts. 191. Survivorship bias. Concentrating on the people or things that survived some process and inadvertently overlooking those that didn't because of their lack of visibility. 192. Third person effect. The tendency to believe that others are more influenced by mass media messages than they themselves are. 193. Triviality effect. Parkinson's law of triviality. The tendency to give disproportionate weight to trivial issues. 194. Unit bias. The tendency to want to finish a given unit of a task or an item. 195. Weber Fechner law. The perceived change in stimuli is proportional to the initial stimuli. 196. Well traveled road effect. Underestimation of the time taken to traverse familiar routes and overestimation of the time taken to traverse less familiar routes. 197. 
Zero-sum bias. The assumption that a situation is zero-sum, one's gains are another's losses, when it is not. 198. Zyganic effect. The tendency to remember interrupted or incomplete tasks or events more easily than completed ones. 199. Single outcome bias. The tendency to focus exclusively on a single possible outcome of a situation, ignoring other potential outcomes. 200. Social norms. Bias. The tendency to align one's behavior to the perceived norms or behaviors of the majority in a social group, even if it conflicts with personal beliefs or knowledge. This extensive list covers a wide range of cognitive biases that can influence our thoughts, decisions, and behaviors. It is important to note that the study of cognitive biases is ongoing, and new biases may continue to be identified and explored by researchers. We hope you enjoy this list of 200 cognitive biases. Thank you for spending time here today. TheWorldWisdomWell.com invites you to visit our resource-packed website and follow the links to our support pages and storefronts. Cultivating global happiness, well-being, and compassionate wisdom, inside and out, together. Exploring and realizing the limitless potential of humanity through the evolving energies of collective experiences, lifelong learning, rigorous research, and dedicated daily practice. Journey through these collective teachings, quenching your thirst for knowledge, nourishing body, mind, and spirit for embodiment of deep introspection, self-realization, and the fostering a healing evolution within ourselves and our global human family. Join us in our mission to enhance the world while nurturing inner wisdom, one drop at a time. This channel is a gift from our hearts to yours. Share with those who may benefit.